what's going on guys welcome back to adobe's learn from the pro series my name is max novak this is the last episode of our five part mini series here where i teach you how to create trendy effects for your videos in the previous episodes we talked all about setting everything up with the roto brush tool to isolate your subject and your background next we talked about creating smooth motion with keyframes and motion blur we talked about placing things behind your subject such as animated logos and we even talked about some of my favorite seamless transitions to use for your own videos. Today, we're gonna to talk all about manipulating your background. So let's hop right into Adobe After Effects and get started. Today, we're gonna to talk all about manipulating our background. Step number one, let's add some speed to the background. So I'm gonna go over to my effects and presets on the right, and I'm going to search for the offset effect. So go ahead and grab that offset effect. It's under distort click and drag that onto your background layer. So once you've done that over in your effect controls in the top left with your background layer selected, you're gonna see offset right here. What it allows you to do is shift the center of your video. So if I crank that value and just pull that to the right, see how it's kind of shifting everything. It's getting a little bit crowded. So let's add in some different blur to make it look a lot faster. So grab our cursor here and we're gonna start at the beginning of our timeline because that's where we want the effect to take place. I'm gonna go ahead and just hide these layers so it's not too crowded. We're gonna go ahead and keyframe the shift center effect under offset. Next, let's go ahead and just drag a couple of frames, maybe something like that. And then with our background layer here, let's open up effects and then open up offset. So what I'm gonna do now is take this value on the left here, this is our, we're gonna take the horizontal and I'm just going to start pulling that to the right. I'm gonna do this a good amount of times here. The more you do this, the faster everything's gonna look. And once I've done that, I'm gonna try and match our subject up here so that he kind of falls back into place. So we created a simple little animation where if we play that through, our background is swiveling through. And at this point here, it looks very choppy because everything's passing through. You can see the seam, there's a lot going on. So let's add some motion blur to blend everything together. So in episode two, we talked all about motion blur. You wanna to click toggle switches and modes and make sure that the motion blur switch is enabled for that layer. What we can also do here is just go over to our effects and presets. And I'm gonna search for a little directional blur effect. So grab directional blur, place that on our background layer. I'm gonna to scroll to the in-between of these two keyframes. And with our directional blur, I'm gonna go ahead and just set the direction in the direction that our background is moving. So it's sort of moving to the right. So let's put that at 90 degrees. And then let's grab the blur length and bump that up a little bit until our background starts to get a lot more blurry. Everything should start to look a lot faster paced. We're gonna add a couple more keyframes here just to kind of ease this in so it doesn't start all blurry. So go back in between these two keyframes. We're gonna go over to blur length and just click this to add another keyframe. And then let's scroll to the beginning, put that at zero. That way it starts at zero and then quickly goes into full blur. And then as we get closer to the end, we're gonna go ahead and click to create another keyframe for our blur length and drag to the end and set that down to zero. So what we created is this fast paced movement of our background. You don't just have to do this on the background. You can take that offset effect add those blurs that I showed you and place it on anything, including the subject. Now that we've already set up the keyframes, we set up the effect, let's go ahead and just click the little FX button in our effect controls to hide those. And then holding down control, we can just select both of those, click control C to copy them. And let's try and place them on our little clone layer that we have set up. So I'll select the clone layer in my effect controls. I'll click here and click control V. And then we'll show the FX. And then if I press play here, you guys can see how our clone is sort of whipping around in the background with that crazy motion blur and directional blur. So great way to add speed to any part of your video. Some other cool tricks I like adding to the background. Of course, there's so many different things you can add, but I really like adding this little CC lens effect under distort. Search for that in your effects and presets. You can drop that on the background layer. Kind of turns everything into this crazy fisheye lens distortion. And you can just grab the size and bump that up and have the stretch edges. You can keyframe the size and the convergence, sort of have it gradually grow into that. So we'll just 
put that up until it's normal. Quick and easy little effect for adding speed to the background. Now you know how to change around things in the foreground, in the background, and of course, you don't have to use the effects that I'm showing here. It's merely an example. You can use anything that After Effects has to offer. Use the exact same setup and create your own unique effects. So hope you guys did enjoy the episode. These were some of my favorite effects that I like using for my own videos. I always recommend that you guys experiment. I can teach you guys the tools in the software, but on your guys' end, you can apply your own creativity and individuality to it. If you'd like to see more from me, you can find me on YouTube at Max Novak or on Instagram at underscore Max Novak. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have fun working on your own projects and I'll see you in the next one.